Blood pressure readings are actually pretty simple once you break them down. When you get your blood pressure checked, you'll see two numbers, the top number and the bottom number. These numbers tell you how hard your heart is working to pump the blood through your body. The two numbers, the first one is systolic, that's the top number. This is the first number you'll see. It's the pressure in your arteries when your heart beats and pushes blood out. Imagine your heart is like a pump pushing water through pipes. This is the force that needs to make it happen. The second number, the diastolic number, that's the bottom number. This measures the pressure when your heart is at rest between the beats. Think of it like your heart is taking a little break between the next beat. I'm Dr. John, board certified in internal medicine as well as geriatric medicine. And this channel is here to promote your health and your well-being think your health. So what are normal numbers? So what's good and what's bad? And here are the different ranges. Normal blood pressure is when we're looking at the numbers and the number is less than 120 over 80. That means your heart and arteries are doing the job and you're in a good spot. If it's elevated is if your systolic pressure is between 120 and 129 and your diastolic is less than 80 and that's elevated blood pressure. You're not in any danger, but it's a sign you should keep an eye on it. Then there's stage one hypertension. This is when systolic is between 130 and 139 or diastolic is between 80 and 89. This means your blood pressure is starting to get too high and you'll probably need to make some changes like improving your diet, working out, or reducing stress. Then there's stage two hypertension. If it's 140 or higher for systolic or 90 or higher for diastolic, this is considered stage two hypertension. At this point, you might need medication and obviously lifestyle changes to get things under control. Then there's hypertensive crisis. If your blood pressure is higher than 180 or 120, this is a medical emergency. You'll need to get to the hospital fast to avoid any serious problems like a stroke or a heart attack. So why does blood pressure matter? If your blood pressure is too high, especially for a longer period of time, it can cause major health problems. It puts extra pressure on your heart and blood vessels, which can lead to several problems, heart disease, stroke, kidney problems. But here's the good news. With small changes in your diet, exercise, and stress levels, you can keep your blood pressure in check and avoid these risks and health conditions. So how do you keep your blood pressure healthy? And these are things you already know. Eat healthy foods. Things like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and foods high in potassium can help keep your blood pressure low. Then also get moving. Aim for at least 30 minutes of exercise most days of the week. And watch your weight. Being overweight can raise your blood pressure. So try to stay at a healthy weight and reduce stress. Stress is a huge factor in raising blood pressure. Finding ways to relax, like through deep breathing or taking breaks can help. And if you're interested in a detailed video looking at blood pressure and how you can reduce it without medications, check right here. This is Think Your Health. I'm Dr. John and have a good day.